Copenhagen. Welcome at eConnect. Let's, Let's talk, talk B2B. B2B. I'm here with Jonas Kjellberg. He is a combination of Skype, uh, investor, desinvestor, IPOs, Boston Consulting Group, Stanford, I don't know what else, but uh, you left everybody here, half of them scared and half of them enthusiastic. What did you do? Well, I think they didn't really pay up for a motivation speech, so I, I, I did a demotivation speech. <laughs> <laughs> no, but truly, you, you really put on the, the, the your fingers on the scary and painful point here because there's manufacturers who do not have a clue. What is your true advice to a B2B manu manufacturer challenging the future? Well, I don't know if I have any clear advice. I just believe in some kind of simple principles and I think one of the things I spoke about today is about innovating in zeros and rethinking costs. Please explain that one in short. Well, it's more about uh, most of the successful companies have actually rethought costs. You know, Google, uh, Facebook, Airbnb, uh, Amazon, you know, all have rethought costs. So it's an efficiency game. Uh, and most traditional business are very, you know, very stuck on their existing margins and spend. Uh, making like 60-70% on spare parts and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you take that down to zero? I think that's the biggest challenge because they have a great business model uh, and they're like super afraid of changing it. Well that's I think very clear that if you're doing well you're earning money that's the biggest scary thing to change right? Well, I think that's what people believe that you have to make money. I would say the most interesting companies are all trying to understand how should they be more relevant for their customers tomorrow. And if they make money during that process, they can control their own destiny. But otherwise, making money alone is not something great. No. And, uh, well, curious, where are you going to invest in? Uh, well, I'm investing quite a lot around machine learning, uh, especially when it comes to uh, conversational AI, but also conversion AI. We, basically, I believe that a lot of the things that we're doing today manually when it comes to customer service and sales is going to dramatically change because it's a very big cost of companies. So if you could do that better and to the cost of zero, it will have a huge p impact on the total P&L of a lot of companies. And are manufacturers able to change, do you think? I think everyone has the possibility of changing. I think what the people are is scared. Most managers are vested 30, 40 years into that kind of perspective. They know really well how to drive trucks or, or make, you know, whatever things they're making. Uh, and, and they love their factories. And of course, it's a huge change if you say that you have to go from, you know, selling things to actually having a subscription model. Yeah. Because then, you know, revenues will change. There's the value propositions will change. There's so many things that go. And we see that across the board. speech you talked about tips uh, about using the websites and really leveraging it um, can you elaborate a bit on that I would say that the number one first important thing is to get your C-suites buy-in I mean if you don't have a buy-in that you want to do this change within a business to business company and and um, if you don't have the, the leaders buy-in you're never gonna get anywhere second of all you need to look at your analytics and and see what uh, topics of your website are people most interested in and from that actually start creating content uh, in the terms of what your customers are interested in and what they want to use not listen to the business managers and say my 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 uh, area is most important let's see what the users are actually doing my number three would then be to get going like get going now start small start wherever but at least start because if you are complacent with this your competition will eat you up for breakfast 